everybody. Welcome back to Embed Live. Sarah Pons here, CMO of Embed. And we are sitting here today with Mr. Mark Suba. Hey, Mark, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good, thank you. Given the current conditions, you know, we're just settling into these kind of unsettling times and the new normals and whatnot, and trying to seize whatever opportunities we can. Um, and so that's why we're really excited to speak with you today because we know just by looking at the Pizza Ranch example that you've been able to make a number of different pivots in your organization to be able to still you know, seize whatever opportunities you have in the now. At the onset of this pandemic, what were some of the um, steps that you took to mitigate risk and then pivot uh, some of your business models to maximize the opportunity? Yeah, first off, let me just say, uh, I appreciate being on the, um, the session today. I, I really do. It's, um, um, it has been a very strange 30 days, roughly 30 days ago, mid-March, here in the U.S., specifically the Midwest, uh, there was a shutdown, as everybody knows, um, of all of our restaurants. So we, as you mentioned, we now operate 214 restaurants across 14 states. All of, pretty much all of those, starting with starting in mid March, were shut down. So, um, thankfully. We, um, we operated not only just uh, as a casual dining, dine-in operation, largely dine-in buffet, mm -hmm. but we had about 20% of our business that was um, uh, carry out to go catering. And so since the pandemic hit, since we were forced to shut down most of our dining rooms and now all of our dining rooms, right. Uh, we have really placed an emphasis on our to-go and delivery business, a major pivot for us. Um, once this came down, there was, you know, we formed a, um, a COVID-19 task force, Pizza Ranch task force to address this and stay in daily contact with our franchise system. Our president was out in front, um, making people aware of the plans that we're making giving reassurances as best he could, but making no promises because nobody knew uh, where this thing was going. And so we've taken a lot of steps. I can go into more of them if you'd like, but we, we tried to lead. Uh, we have 96% franchised. Wow. So yeah, we have about 150 different franchise operators, um, some multi-unit operators in our system. Um, we have, in the link to embed, in case people are wondering, we have the, the 214 restaurants, but we also have 28 um, arcades uh, right. attached to those restaurants. And uh, we're on track to be closer to 40 by the end of the year, 40 arcades. So we're, we're, that's a big growth engine for us. Uh, hence the uh, somewhat short but strong partnership we formed with embed over right. the last um, 18 months or so. Yeah, we had to pivot basically on every facet of our business. So we had to change our marketing uh, plans. Um, we had to go through a cost cutting exercise. Yes. We had to change operationally. Um, so, um, and then we had to get in front of the legislation that was coming down to make sure that we understood that. Yep. Uh, could communicate that, articulate that with accuracy to our franchise system and make the appropriate plans. So we have done all of those steps. Uh, we have a marketing plan that is, uh, it's pared back because our business is 20% of what it was. Right. 20 to percent of what it was. So we had to pare down our marketing spend and really target it to local digital uh, marketing. Right. Um, and our CMO, John Moss, has done a wonderful job of leading that work. We had to uh, adjust uh, and pivot our operational performance, meaning uh, the in-room dining business yeah. was no longer our focus. It was all about to go and carry out. So That's we right. added curbside delivery. We added uh, contactless delivery options. Yes. And then we have our traditional delivery and catering. Uh, but one of the more important aspects of that pivot, if you will, um, was to understand the legislation and help guide our 150 franchisees through the maze. Um, here in the U.S., it was the CARES Act. Right. That was 
ended on March 27th. And so we had to dive into the detail. And we've held webinars, uh, several webinars uh, over the last few weeks to guide our franchisees so that they could get take advantage of the stimulus package that came from our government and uh, get in the best position to um, sustain their business, uh, prepare for the what could be a long haul here. Um, nobody knows when they're, they're starting to be more talk today about reopening, but at the time it certainly, it, well, it was very uncertain. Right. And so we're trying to maximize cash position, um, defer debt, right uh, and and gather as much funding from the stimulus bill as we possibly can and guide our franchises along the way right but i know i was traveling on march 10th and by the weekend call it march 15th or march 16th it was very clear uh i think it was i, I want to say the 16th might have been a monday um it was very clear that there was an issue and we were shutting down so traveling on march 10th hearing about it um, to the following Monday, March, six days later, basically shutting down restaurants um, across our whole system, across the states in which we operate. So it came upon us very fast. Right. Um, we have a nine person leadership team. Uh, we meet every other week. So we um, brought the team together as we normally do, uh, made some necessary decisions um, we've got a, a terrific president in Adri Cronenweg, who has, who was, he's our founder, he's our leader. He is, um, he brought the team together as he normally does, and um, we um, charted the course. And some of these conversations uh, happened as a group. Some of them happened individually, individually um, amongst the leadership team. But the task force was formed. Uh, we started um, uh, running financial models to understand what the, you know, to, to look at the what ifs yep. and made some furlough type decisions, some expense uh, decisions as most organizations do mm -hmm. and in that situation. Um, but it's unprecedented. It so awesome. we were kind of creating the, the map for our organization day to day and trying to stay in front. 